Keep watching to see all the details on how we insulated the garage. Before blowing the attic with insulation, you have to create some form of a dam to keep the cellulose from falling down and blocking the soffit vent. It also uh, allows that air chute to direct the wind up and over the cellulose. And I prefer building my own compared to those cheapy styrofoam ones you get at the box store. I built a simple two foot wide catwalk right down the middle of the attic and I also positioned it 30 inches tall so that it helps me when I'm blowing the insulation as a guide. All of these bags of cellulose are just for blowing the attic. We blew 5,250 pounds of cellulose into the attic for an average settled R value of 100. It took us about four and a half hours to blow it and the cellulose works really well in a truss attic. As you can see, nothing is blocking the soffit vents. We got five and a half inches of airspace. The first step to insulating the walls, uh, if you're going to use a blown product like cellulose, is to stretch a fabric across the face. This is called InsulWeb. It's not an air barrier, not a vapor barrier. It's just a lightweight netting material that's stapled to the face of the studs and that contains the insulation in place until you put your wall board up. Now, looking at these, you can probably tell these are just two by six studs. So I'm gonna get an R value of about 20 in that. And that is uh, incredibly small in comparison to what my original plans were. Originally, I wanted to make a double stud. So I was gonna build out a whole additional wall from the concrete slab all the way up to the ceiling, have a super thick wall and high R value. However, uh, my job changed, uh, my wife's job changed uh, while we were building this garage, which took us two years, and we ran out of money for it. Uh, so uh, I wound up uh, thinking at one point that I was just going to put fiberglass uh, bats in, just cheap fiberglass bats in the wall cavity, and that's why I had them just a single layer. At the last minute, my buddy Bill uh, was able to use his contacts and wound up getting a lot of cellulose for me uh, that was a prototype material, uh, so it didn't cost me anything. Uh, so I did go back to the cellulose right at the last second, uh, and that uh, works better than fiberglass, so I'm glad I got that. Thank you, Bill. Bill's out here with me, and we are putting up some InsulWeb, and as you can see, we got the lights on. The electrical was just a couple days ago, and here I'm putting on some strips of plywood over the studs. We got all the lights, those are LEDs, They're, they came out great. You can see the conduit runs with the electrical, this panel's over there. Yeah. Well, last night Bill and I got all the InsulWeb up, and now Bill is about to start pre-filling these bays, the air 2x6 bays. And we're in the garage. There's the material starting to flow. Let's take a closer look. Over here's the machine. And over here's our pile of cellulose. Just finished blowing the walls. We have a nice echo in this place. As you can see, uh, this is a double stud right around the door frame, and it's not strapped. So this we're going to have to roll real heavily, have it around the electrical box. See all that's packed real heavy, so I'm going to have to get that flush to the stud, whereas over here I put the strapping on so we don't have to roll as heavily uh, to make it flush with the strapping. 
I also have to roll this bottom portion. Now to give you an idea of what the rolling looks like, we can look over here. I've already rolled these stud bays to the left. As you look down them, you see that they're flat now. I won't have any trouble putting on my board. Looking the other way, I've rolled the lower portion, but I haven't yet rolled the upper portion. You can clearly see where that change was made. So I still have another probably two hours worth of rolling in here. And then I'll be done rolling. The rolling is done with this aluminum roller here. Let me show you. There's the aluminum roller. And uh, you kind of throw your back into it, rolling this up and down. A proper dense pack should be self-supporting, and this is just proving that. I just went up in the attic last week to do an inspection and to get some footage for you. Uh, this is uh, after two years of this insulation being in place, and it looks like it has settled three to four inches in some places. That is to be expected. You have to take that settlement into account when you're planning. So guys, if you enjoy these videos, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in, uh, down below. Uh, I love hearing from everybody, and, uh, and please share the video. Uh, thanks so much for watching.